Jonah chapter 3, verses 6 through 9. When Jonah's warning reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. This is the proclamation he issued in Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let people or animals, herds or flocks taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink, but let people and animals be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows? God may relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger so that we will not perish. Many years ago in my young uh, married life, I made a huge mistake. Um, I forgot to tell my wife on our first birthday together, I forgot to tell her happy birthday. And for some, they're like, well, that's just okay. But for my wife, that meant a lot. And in order for me, for her to turn back to me, I had to do what you call repent. I had to stop everything in order to focus on her and for her to turn back. And so all of my efforts, which include what's expensive, <laughs> which include flowers, dinner, all these other things, had planned this stuff for her birthday, but had to go the extra mile in order to get her attention. So as we look here at this story, what does true repentance look like? It's way more than what I had to do to have my wife turn back to me. But what we see here is that the leadership of Nineveh that they recognized their city's atrocities and they sought for everyone, even including the animals, to repent. They had had the insight of the depth of sin, that sin is almost like it's atmospheric and it touches everyone, whether it is intentional or whether it's unintentional. And the people recognized they did, did sin against God. And what they did was that they moved away from the individualistic claims, which they're appealing to God, God, I'm sorry. But what they did was as an entire nation, they came together, repented, sackcloth, ashes, the, all these things in their hopes that God would turn God's wrath against them. In their efforts, it did get God's attention. But what this shows for us, what I believe, is this incredible concept of nationalistic repentance. We make claims in our faith. We say it within our liturgy and so forth about atrocities of sin. But to get a picture of an, an entire nation that is collective, unified, completely together as a community, to stop life, even to the point where animals involved, in order to repent to God, is truly an amazing picture for all of us and what God wants us and calls us to be when sin has touched us all. Amen.